friends, I want to welcome you to Connect. My name is Nitro, and I want to go over some rules to help you enjoy your stay. But first, I want you to help me out by standing up. Hold up your fingers and count them with me. Rule number one, listen to your teachers. The grown-ups are here to help you and make sure you have fun while you're here. Rule number two, never remove your tag. Always keep it on. It helps us know who you are. Rule number three, put others first. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Rule number four, make a new friend. Make all the other guests feel welcome. But most of all, have fun. So, scoot up close to the screen and get ready to connect. Like it? I do like it. It reminds me it's time for offering. But hey, you should probably watch out. Man, that stinks. Um, hey, I've been thinking about this offering thing, and well, I've been wondering why God wants my money anyways. It's not like God needs our money or anything like that. Right, I mean everything in the whole world, including money, is already his. So why would he care if I give my money or not? Well, it's like this. God doesn't just want our money. What God really wants is our hearts. He wants us to give our lives, our everything to him. Lots of times we don't really want to give money. That's because we want things. We would rather buy toys, clothes, candy. Or a new kite. Exactly. And even though those things aren't always bad, they can take over our hearts and make it hard to give money to God. That's why the Bible says, God loves a cheerful giver. So since money is sometimes so hard to let go of, when we give it to God, and we're glad to do it, then He knows He has our hearts. Yes, that's when God knows we love Him more than the things we buy with money. That makes Him very happy, and that's why giving is a way to love God back. Hey guys, I'm Cruz. And I'm Alyssa. And we've been learning what it means to be a disciple. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Show them the sign. Okay. A disciple is a person who knows about, follows, and lives for Jesus. 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 And here on the Connect Crew, I've learned more than ever what it means to be a disciple. Aw, that's such a nice thing to say. Really? So I can go on and on and on and on and on and okay, on. Okay, well, maybe not right now, because right now it is time to rehearse, rehearse the, the verse. verse. Today's verse comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Say it like this. 1 Corinthians 11, 1. Follow my 
example, just as I follow the example of Christ. Cool, you wanna repeat after me? I'll repeat after you. Sweet, okay. 1 Corinthians 11, 1. 1 Corinthians 11, 1. Follow my example. Follow my example. Just as I follow the example. Just as I follow the example. Of Christ. Of Christ. All right, can we do it together? Absolutely. Let's do it. You ready? I'm ready. Are okay. you ready? <gasps> Are you ready? They're ready. Okay. 1 Corinthians, Corinthians 11, 1. 1. Follow my example, just, just as I follow the example of Christ. Good job. So I wonder, what is today's point? Uh, I believe it's about you copying me, copying Jesus. Or maybe it's about you copying me, copying Jesus. That's what I said. That's what I said. Are you copying me? seems there has been a power breach. If it is not fixed soon, our operational system will begin to shut down. Shut down everything on the station. Affirmative. What about the mailbox from Earth? What about the transporter? What about the transmissions? All transmissions to and from Earth will be halted. Oh no, that means that we can't transmit God's message to all the kids all around the world. Oh, I stalled it. Oh, good. Mike, we need you to fix the operational system. Oh, okay, I got it. We're doomed! Game over, man! We're doomed! Uh, I'm pretty sure it's fine and not that bad. Let me see what's going on down here. Oh, hey! Space donuts. I wonder where I left these. Yep, it's definitely not that. And I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with the toilet. So, not that. Uh, Mike, mm. have you fixed it? We're kind of panicked here. Uh, nope, but I will. I got this. Is he whistling? Mike, how can you be whistling at a time like this? Oh, it's really easy. All you gotta do is like, Oh, you you show like this and make an O sign and be like, Mike, just fix it, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> that wasn't good. Uh, my bad, my bad, but I still got this. I'll fix it. Checkmate. I won! <laughs> what just happened? Yeah, victory just happened and it happened all up in your face. <gasps> Ray, Ray, did you see? I won, I... Ray, what's wrong? The operational system is shutting down and we don't know why. Oh, that doesn't sound good. It's not. And I'm the captain, so if anything goes wrong, it comes back on me. <sighs> what am I gonna do? The operational system controls everything. Everything? Everything. Okay, everyone just don't panic. Everyone just needs to stay calm. I'm trying. <sighs> Speaking of calm, something's up with Mike. He doesn't seem to be worried about this at all. What are we going to do? Oh wait, I know. Maybe there's something in the Bible that will help. Hmm, looking for some answers. Oh, hey. The vine and the branches. Maybe this will help. This is a 66 picks mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's alive, a prize to hide in your heart and in your mind. Oh,
testaments are set up for the big event When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement It's history, his story, whose story, God's story Oh, the story of how much he loves me Let him blow up all the pages, let the show go live Let his word explode from this video into your life Jesus describes us and him as being a grapevine. A grapevine? Why do you think he would talk about a grapevine? Well, let's talk about the parts of a grapevine. There's the trunk, then there's the vine, then there's the branches that come off of the vine, and of course, you've got the fruit or the grapes. John 15, one through 16, well, it says, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. The gardener plays a huge role in the success of a vine. He has to water it, prune it, and protect it from things that would harm the plants. He also has to know the plant. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. If you or I were to cut a branch off of a vine and lay it down on the ground, well, over a matter of days, we would see that it's gonna wither up and die. Well, he's about to tell us how important it is to stay attached to that vine. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be given to you. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. Remain means to stay, abide, continue, dwell, endure, be present, to stand for. This means that every day it's important that you and I keep ourselves connected to the vine. Remember, Jesus is the vine and he's the one talking right here. So how do we do that? Well, in order to stay a part of the vine, we have to be talking to him, praying to him, reading our Bibles, doing all the things that it takes to be a part of the vine. It's important for us to learn how to read and study the Bible. Why prayer is such an important part of being connected to God. And how to really rely on and listen to the Holy Spirit. If we really are the vineyard and God really is the gardener, we must learn to remain in Him. Well, that was a great story, but what does it have to do with Connect Station? The story isn't about the station. It's about us connecting with Jesus, and I just don't have time for that right now. With the station breaking down, I'll just have to connect with Jesus later. Things have begun to go wrong on Connect Station. Our friends seem quite worried. Everyone except Mike. Perhaps he knows today's point. Will you say it with me? I'm a disciple when I lead people to live like Jesus. Ray is a good leader. Perhaps she will discover the point for herself very soon. So we're probably not gonna die because you know what you're doing, right? <laughs> You've done this before? Oh, I probably would have. I can hit that button or... Mike, please tell me you fixed it. It's fixed. Really? <laughs> no. No. We're doomed again. <laughs> no. Mike, you keep working. Clint, come with me. You hold on to that. I think it's time to go to, to the, the room. room. Hi, room. Hello, Ray. Clint, how can I help you? We're doomed. We're a little panicked. We're not doomed. <laughs> The operational system is losing power, and we still don't know why. When people have important questions, it is helpful to look first in... The Bible! 
that's right. Room, will you show us today's verse? Stat? I mean, fast. Uh, I mean, please? Certainly. First Corinthians 11, 1 Corinthians 11.1 Follow my example, just as I follow the example of Christ. But we've talked about following Jesus' example before. Look again, Clint. You'll find this verse has something new. Okay. Follow my example is just as... Oh, it says to follow my example. But we've all tried to be great examples on Connect Station. But who has time for that when the operational system is shutting down? The Bible has great examples of that. That's right. Room, can you pull up today's Bible story? <coughs> the vine and the branches. Jesus is the vine, and you are the branches. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't get it. The vine is Jesus. When you are a disciple, it's important to connect with Jesus often. Then, others will see God's power working in you. And when they see God's power working in us, they can follow our example. And then they'll know how to be a disciple. I'm a disciple when I lead people to live like Jesus. I'm a disciple when I lead people to live like Jesus. That's the point, we've connected the dots. <laughs> but I still don't get what this has to do with fixing Connect Station. Think about it. It's true, we haven't been great examples, but who's been calm and collected through this whole thing? Mike. Mike. And since he's been such a great example, I know just who we should talk to. Thanks, Room. Oh, oh, hey guys, don't panic, but it's still not fixed. <laughs> it's okay, Mike. We trust that you can fix it. Whoa, you guys changed. What happened in the room? Well, we learned about your little secret. Oh. What did you learn, Mr. Bond? <laughs> well, we talked about the verse and about being an example. And then we watched the Bible story. Mm -hmm. And it was all about how Jesus is the vine, and we are the branches, and only by connecting to him will we bear fruit. And when we bear fruit, we show others the power of Jesus. And that's what you've been doing for us. You've been acting a lot like Jesus, Mr. Calm, Cool, and Collected. <laughs> so we put it together and figured it out. You've, you've been, been connecting. connecting. <laughs> so tell us all about it. Well, every morning I read the Bible, which is God's word to me, and at night I pray to Jesus, and. Tell him everything. Praying to Jesus and connecting with Jesus really helps me. Well, you've been an example to us, and you helped us discover the point. Oh yeah, and what was it? I'm, I'm a, a disciple, disciple when, when I lead people to live like Jesus. Jesus. I'm a disciple when I lead people to live like Jesus. Yeah, and I'm glad you guys discovered the point, because I just discovered something. <sighs> The operational system came unplugged from the power supply. So, let's see if this helps. And there you go. See, I told you I'd fix it. And let this be a reminder to all of us to stay connected to our power source, Jesus. <laughs> it's a perfect time for... A donut! Oh gosh, no. Uh, <laughs> just kidding, I feel it too. The Robot Dance of Joy! Is that the seed that Ray planted a couple of days ago? It is! Uh, it's grown! I know! Sometimes things in space grow really fast! Oh, you're a cute plant. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're cute, so cute, though.
two minutes remaining. than singing God a song? It's singing God a song together with my whole family here at church. We're all a part of God's great big family. And I don't know if there's anything our Father God loves more than to hear His kids worship Him together. So let's get our whole family singing and moving all together. Get up on your... so excited to announce that all of the excitement, adventure, and fun you experience here at Life Kids every week is now available on our new website, lifekids.tv. At lifekids.tv, you can easily look through series messages, print off coloring sheets, look at video shorts, worship music, memory verses, Bible stories, family activities, and so much more. It's all there for you to discover and take along anywhere you go, all at lifekids.tv. Ray and Clint were right, but it's really no secret. I mean, staying connected to the vine, that's Jesus, is the most important thing we do here at Connect Station. But how do you stay connected to Jesus? Well, first you have to be connected to Jesus. And how do you do that? 
by making him your very best friend in your life. Well, how do you do that? Well, I have a video that will show you how. Dude, I can't do anything right. No wonder no one likes me. What are you talking about? It's just a game. It's more than that. I'm doing horrible at school. I didn't make the soccer team. And no matter how hard I try, I can't get people to like me. Well, I like hanging out with you. I'm sorry you're having such a hard time. Why are you being so nice to me? I just broke your controller. Yeah, I know, but that's just stuff. It's not more important than friends. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Because God thinks you're important, then so do I. So you're not mad at me? Nah, I forgive you. God's forgiven me for way more than a broken controller. What do you need forgiveness for? It seems like you've got it all together. Nope, I mess up all the time, but God is always there to forgive me. That's why he sent Jesus to die for my sins. Whoa, I haven't heard that before. You talk about God like he's your best friend. I don't think God will forgive me.
two minutes remaining. 